Yes! Yes! <laughs> Taking down Tron! Oh, screw you! Oh, screw off! Hello everyone, welcome back from Top of the Wall. My name is Mason Knopp, and I have another deck for you today called Atog Combo. Oh, you can see it peeking. Oh, it's just peeking from <laughs> over the over the edge here. Okay, so Atog Combo, if you haven't been following Popper for the last couple of months, essentially Affinity has turned into somewhat of a combo deck. Uh, it was a combo deck for a while. I believe it has switched entirely back to normal affinity but in but in the months that you've been gone and may not have been paying attention they they actually started using a basic land in the deck which is odd as hell they have tutor spells uh well transmute spells uh they added extra counter spells they really um are looking to get more value out of thoughtcast and they're playing chromatic stars for uh for like sifting through the deck and fixing their colors more um, they're more, they actually started adding Witching Well and Cantrips to the deck and mainboarding Dispel. The, um, the Atogs are still a, still in the deck, but they added more of them and they added two additional flings. The entire deck is really just focused on getting the maximum value out of Atog possible. Where you play the Atog and then with all of these cards like Golden Egg and Prophetic Prism, and Icar Wellspring, you just start sacking these cards, drawing more cards for them, and then, finally, you fling Atog at your opponent's face while still holding up a Dispel, or a Metallic Rebuke, or a Muddle the Mixture. Uh, the second win condition of the deck would be the Gear Seeker Servant. And you know what, I, I think I can kind of appreciate it on some level, to, um, to just like have this kind of uninteractive game where you're just playing a bunch of lands, and then just keep cantripping and cantripping, then finally play win condition and shoot your opponent dead. And really either punish them for being too slow and uninteractive or just being too slow and, well, uninteractive <laughs> is essentially what this deck is just trying to do. Um, I don't feel like it had a very good game against any deck with uh, multiple counter spells because if they knew it was coming, they could just hold up multiple uh, counter spells and they could really focus on just trying to get rid of some of your Atogs and try to focus on uh, keeping you away from Thoughtcast. The Gear Seeker Serpent is there to be this backup win condition. And it, it is it is one of my favorite cards in Popper. Uh, for the sideboard, I guess the things that we would be most afraid of is probably this Scred Fairies matchup. Hence, you can see the three Pyroblast and the three Hydroblast. Um, these are not just for fighting Scred Fairies. These can also be for just fighting the Blue-Black Delver deck or fighting the Burn deck. And in case our opponent has, like, some Fogs, we have, uh, Flaring Pain if they try to use Prismatic Strands or, uh, something like that. A uh, Moment's Peace is a Fog for our own stuff. Uh, it is, it protects us from our opponent for a couple of turns and potentially lets us go off uninterrupted. Um... Then we also have Kirk Clan Shaman to get rid of a bunch of small creatures or get rid of a bunch of uh, stompy creatures that might be trying to mess with us. Gigadross is to tap down a bunch of our opponent's tournaments, just wait till their turn, tap down the remaining lands uh, in preparation for our turn. Uh, at that point, we would go off while our opponent wouldn't have any mana to hold up any kind of counter spells. And Relic of Progenitus is there to fight through graveyards. Now, with this deck, I would imagine that we actually have a pretty good game against Elves, because Elves is not fast enough to kill us before we could kill them in a lot of instances. Because I can't imagine that throwing an Atog down after we've drawn a bunch of cards and have a bunch of artifacts on the battlefield, and then just flinging it at our opponent is something that they could really do much about, if anything. I don't think that they could do anything about it. And uh, Kirkland Shaman uh, also seems like a pretty fine way to just to just obliterate your opponent's stuff, particularly all of the tokens. So yeah, this should this should be perfectly fine. And with that being said, it's time to get into the gameplay and drink some coffee. All right, and we have a match. 
I like how I can just adjust that um, in real time. Uh, yes, we would like to go first. No! <laughs> no! 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 I do that almost every time, but I always cut it out so you guys don't have to see it. Uh... But you know what? It's fine if you guys know. You guys have already pretty much figured out that I'm a goofball if you're watching me. Uh, uh I feel like this is not quite where we want to be at. <clears throat> um Mulligan. This is better, but also not great. Um, I guess I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll put the one muddle on the bottom. Done. Um, we have some plays that we can make. We get to play magic. It, going down to five seems a little rough with a talk combo. We want uh, a certain... We want to reach a certain threshold of artifacts on the battlefield, so going down in cards seems a little rough. Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to go down in cards. Okay, we have the fixing that we need, and yes, we'd like to gain this real life. Don't. Don't. Okay, good. <laughs> Is this just regular mountain? I swear to God, that looks like a snow mountain. Look at that. There's clearly snow on that mountain. Ooh, we got swamp. Star compass. Nice. Alright, I like it. I like it. Oh, we got our one island. Oh, uh, having that singular basic is already paying off. Man, oh man. Uh, I think we just want a prophetic prism here. I have no idea what the opponent is doing. It could literally be anything. Uh, next turn, I think we can. We might want to just go chromatic star, thought cast. Uh, if we draw land, then I'll go Iker Wellspring, thought cast. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's remove that stop. A gear seeker serpent. Oh. No. No, no, no. We don't need that. Thought cast. No land. What? What is this garbage? Are you gonna ramp? You're going to cycle. More ramp. <laughs> uh, crusher time? Question mark? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> if they say yes, Oh, God, no. If they're gonna just hard cast a crusher, I'm gonna feel- Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, actually. Nope, no crusher time. Okay. Uh, I think now's a good time. Yes? Yes. <laughs> uh. Undo. Actually, I don't know what they're playing. I'd rather have Dispel up than add to my board. <clears throat> I feel like now is not the best time for that. Uh, what are you doing? What? Oh, they're an Enraged deck? Okay. <laughs> Rile time. Uh, 
All right. Um, hmm. I think I would like to Icar Wellspring. Draw me a card. Ooh, Metallic Rebuke. Chromatic Star. Um, yeah, I'll get in for attacks. I will get in for an attack. I'll threaten. I'll threaten. I'll get down. All right. End of combat. Cool. Then on their turn... <clears throat> I could save myself a little life. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> They just put no in, but with more O's. Uh, but still nice. Alright, nice, but still no. Oh, God. God, no. <laughs> they are not allowed to play Pestilence and then immediately get us for eight. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. They could... They could just ping that for like a oh my god. That's some brutality right there. I had a I had an enraged deck. I gotta I gotta do an enraged deck now. Oh my god, I'm adding that to the list. Come here. Uh number nine uh, next Tuesday in Enrage Day. Well not not this Tuesday. Next next Tuesday. That's that's happening. I, I want to pestilence people and enrage people. <laughs> oh, there's a there is a tree of tails. Okay. Um. I think it might be just better to just straight up attack. Get them. Yeah, they're not gonna block. We go down to ten. Oh god, you know what? Maybe I should have Tamur Battle Rage. Mmm, nah. Main, uh, let's see. I think I want to muddle the mixture. Go get Fling. Nah. nah I, I think this I think we're we're in a winning state right now. I don't think that we need to do too much more. We already have advantage. Um, I don't want to throw away a position. See, they're doing desperation digs. I don't... <clears throat> and then they're probably going to cycle that one. Okay. Three mana draw a card. That's fine. Desperation digs. Okay. They didn't attack. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Oh gosh, no, I can't. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to muddle the mixture, and to my battle rage and galvanic blast that, but I can't. I can't do it all. It won't let me. Do, um, I'll attack. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm gonna take three. That's fine. They lose a card. Preemptive GG.
we got him next turn. I'm sorry. Oh, lightning bolt. Got it. Got it. Oh, I can I see their strategy now. They're they want to play without weakness, make a creature indestructible, and then ping it for a bajillion. All right, that's very that's very cute, but no, you're not allowed to do that. And when they have more than one, they can cycle. They're looking for action right now. They're like not yet. <laughs> oh, it's it's not it's not game over yet. Don't you worry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not over yet. Okay. Excuse me. Attack. Attack. If we get him for five, they kind of lose. <laughs> Mountain. Mountain. Yes. <laughs> Begin sideboarding. Uh, do we have anything against the thing that they're doing? Oh. Uh, all right. All right. Back to the play lobby. I wanted to play more against that deck. Uh, it seemed it seemed really cool. However, it probably needs um, to focus less on the synergies of. Uh, between the enrage creature and pestilence. I mean, it's a good idea, but you might be a little uh, focused on it. And that makes the rest of the deck weaker. Okay, we got two lands. Prophetic Prism. Yeah, let's do this. Keep. Oh, Tron! Tron! We're gonna ATOG combo you, buddy. <laughs> Get ready. Uh, I think Great Furnace is a better card than Ancient Den. I don't think we actually have any white cards in the deck. Did I just straight up play Atog? They have no mana. I don't think that they can remove permanence right now. Yeah, <laughs> let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just start hitting. I don't think that they have permanent removal except for Dinrova and Horror. What is this? Journey to nowhere! No! <laughs> no! Ah! Oh. oh, I guess they're blue-white. Tron? Oh, I should have guessed that from uh, Tranquil Cove. Ah! Oh, got me. Got me. Well, well, fine. Uh, perhaps Prophetic Prism. Yes, and then tap it for blue. Uh, maybe I shouldn't play this yet. I don't. I don't think that there was too many cards that we're looking for. Oh god, both of these seem good. <laughs> I want the land more. Uh, let's let's put this one on top, and then put this one on top of it. And then, uh, pass turn. Alright, Tron. God, less than a minute? Okay, this person is much faster. Okay. Yeah, they know exactly what they're doing. Okay, they get Urza, Tron. I don't like this Tron deck, particularly. Or Tron in general right now, because it doesn't care about assembling Tron. It just cares about getting a ton of value, the land just 
sort of helps them force it through. Actually, can we just Gear Seeker Serpent? Yeah, I think Gear Seeker Serpent is fine. <laughs> we got three of a kind, opponent. <laughs> And one blue. I want to see what I draw first with this. Um, add one blue. What? Oh, okay. There it goes. Now we go. Okay, we have no more responses. Yes, it's theirs. Okay, Tron assembled. We got Mole Drifter. I would like to shoot that. Very dead. They have uh, four mana up, technically three. Um, um, do we shoot this first, or do we just straight up attack? Get in? Okay, they block. What is this? Blue. Ghostly Flicker? Oh, okay. Nope. 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 I'm not letting you flicker that. Yeah, you get the you get one. <laughs> Wait, six. You you can't let Tron start to roll the ball too much. I wonder if they know what verge what we're playing entirely. Okay, what is what is this? What, don't don't say Okay. The tapping Pulsa Marasa. Get back, Mole Drifter. Sure. Uh, uh Mole Drifter again. Uh, Mole Drifter. There's an A talk. Undo. Um, I think now is a good time to just attack. We'll attack first. See what they do about it. Because I don't think that we can kill them, even with all the artifacts that we have. Um, what is this, 14? Yeah, that's only 14. That's... Ah, that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. <laughs> Okay, Mall Drifter, uh, okay. Alright, I, I think, uh, one ATOG. They don't have much in the way of permanent removal. And then add more to the board. Acre Wellspring. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to do Chromatic Star yet. Because I'd... Actually, yeah. Um, there's not much that we could do to stop them if they did anything anyway. 
Okay, then we pass. Okay, <laughs> they immediately have a plan. Stonehorde Dignitary, we skip our next combat phase. Ouch. Okay, that's pretty good. Stick up nine, we get 18 damage. They draw another card. Okay, better fixing. Yeesh. Yeesh. All right, well, <clears throat> they don't have that many ghostly flickers. It might take them another second to find the other ghostly flicker. There's a good chance that it's in the other 39 cards. Yeah, sure. I would absolutely let that attack if it had haste. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> Atog! Uh, well, actually, these things get up to 19. Um, yeah, we'll go to second main. I don't think it's worth it to sacrifice artifacts to just draw more cards. Um, next turn, if they don't flicker this, like, a, with Ephemerate or something, we might, we might get a chance. Oh, God. I think they're just, like, a better player than us. Oh, Compulsive Research. Sure, sure. Should we just fling at the end of their turn? <laughs> it seems cheeky. It seems pretty cheeky. Oh god, if, it depends whether they have mana held up. Come on. You want to tap out? We want you to tap out. We believe in you. Okay, they're trying to assemble this to get the ghostly flicker. To find the ghostly flicker and start doing shenanigans. But I will, I will Galvanic Blast that off the face of the earth. <laughs> that thing will die. For sure. Um, I don't think that they, we, we can play, I don't think that they can not play against, play around Metallic Rebuke. They have so many cards. It's just, they have so many cards and so much mana, it's, it's completely fine. <laughs> they can afford to. They just leave one power plant, no, one tower untapped. <laughs> Are they wondering whether they should attack? <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? Um, yes. No, if we go to end step. Do we fling them now? Oh, I want to. We could fling them for a good amount. No, I think we have better chances. One Dispel. Okay, one Dispel. Uh, beginning of combat, we get one chance. We get one chance. That's all that, that, all, that's all that matters. Okay. Okay. They can't kill it. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Yes. They go down to 23. They're... Do we have them dead? Ooh, yeah, I think we might. Go find a class, you. that one resolve um. ooh uh i would like to dot cast get some more cards perfect prism no we st we need the mana we need the mana um <laughs> it, it matters whether they have a counter spell we need one up we need one up, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Always yield to that one. I want to land. 
Okay, good. We we can have counter spell up. Now. Yes. And uh we'll use this to get red. Use this to get white. Sacrificing the board. Fling. Time to fling. Shoot you. Oh, yes. Uh, that one. Fling. Fling. Dispel. Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Better be instant. Uh, do they have enough mana to cast again from the graveyard? I think it's okay if they mystical teachings will cast what will counter whatever they cast with it. Okay, they cat they get unwind. Uh. I don't understand. They let it go? No. We have an unwind. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Taking down Tron! Oh, screw you! Oh, screw off! You, you needed that. You needed that, Tron. You needed it. Ah, oh, oh boy. I would like to play faster, but I have no idea what to do with the deck sometimes. In uh, in this uh, specific. Ooh, what is? What do we got? We got three lands. We got a one drop. We got a two drop. Keep. Oh. I think it's blue black control. I bet it is. I bet it's blue black control. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's completely fine with me. Okay. Okay, they, they see affinity. You know, you shouldn't really be burning your cantrips too early. Unless it's to fix your hand. Oh god, I wonder if they're going for another land. Oh no, they kept the one lander with two cantrips, or maybe three cantrips, and hope that they, they can find another land. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, draws a card with ponder. Did they shuffle? Yeah, they choose. They chose not to shuffle. That means they found something. Ooh, uh, mm. Let's play first the Great Furnace. The Great Furnace is better. Don't force spike. Oh, don't force spike me. No. Good, good job. You let it go. No. <laughs> I told them no, and then it resolved, and I'm like, <laughs> I think that did it. We can control our opponent. Oh god, six lands. We're flooded. We flooded. Oh, we might desperation crack that star. It might be worth it to... To play a tog. And... What is that? Ponder? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> if they find another land. Oh, oh geez. If they dig to find another land. Keep on, Ponder is a really good cantrip. They, um... It's a lot better than, than people believe. That's why people play Ponder over Preordain in Legacy. 
Um, with shuffle effects and deck thinning, it gets it gets better and better. Okay, Dark Seal Citadel. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I kind of want to just throw out a quick test spell. What do you got? I have Dispel. I don't think that they're... I think they're just mono blue. Hey, <laughs> oh, oh, they just, they just let it go. Okay, then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, next turn, I'm thinking... Mixed Sanctuary. I think it back. Ponder. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Ooh, uh, let's let's get um tree of tails. Tree of tails. We can't kill them yet, and they know. Ooh, counter spell. I think now might be a great time to burn a counter spell, right? I think it is. Are you gonna double counter spell? Don't double double counter spell. All right. All right. You got me. God, it's so flooded. It's thick with the flood here. I th we needed that thought gas to find not land. Jesus. <laughs> I wonder if they're mono blue tempo at this point. But I, based on the way that they're playing, it almost seems like they're mono blue control. Because they're not playing any small creatures. They're... They're really... Not doing much, but can tripping. They're not playing any snow lands. I don't know what on earth they're doing. Maybe they're just some kind of unique build. Somebody did somebody's brew. Okay, don't bounce Atog. Yeah, it's my turn. They got another counter spell up. No. <laughs> I think they're just playing. I'm just gonna get him for one. Attack! Attack! Boy, I kind of want an Atog. Yo, they just burned two counter spells. What's the chance of them having another one? Don't do it. No! Oh, is this... Deprive! Oh, it's Deprive. Got it. Ah, oh, God, I didn't trust my instincts. Okay, they get the prive back. It goes on top. Yeah, sure. We can't quite kill them, I don't think. Actually, next turn I think we can't kill them. 
Yeah, I think we can definitely kill them. They need uh, Echoing Truth. Or Snap. But all things considered, I don't think that they actually... I don't think that they actually have it. They might be just something weird. I haven't seen any odd cards that wouldn't be in mono in a uh, mono blue tempo, but the way that they're playing, it just makes me think maybe they're not. Yep. Yeah. Always yield to to uh, Atog. Metallic Rebuke. Um, okay, they couldn't afford to stop me if I pumped Atog a whole bunch. We're going to attack. And we're going to threaten. We're going to be very threatening. Block. <laughs> no, no blocks. Uh, I think we sacrifice Dark Seal Citadel. Yep, I'm pumping the Atog a bunch, buddy. You better be ready. Oh, maybe I should have been tapping these. <laughs> Oops. Click. There. Go. I don't think that they have counter spell and snap, right? Uh, did they end up drawing that deprive yet? Oh, four spike! No, they got me. Oh, they got me. If I had just played correctly. Oh. All right, all right. I didn't. I didn't tap those lands. Um. Ah, oh, that's my fault. It's all my fault. Well. 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 These ones are acceptable. These ones are most likely not. I haven't seen any fairies, so I don't think uh, Kirklak Shulman is great here. Um, Galvanic Blast, no. Probably not. It's half of the value of Galvanic Blast is literally just being able to hit creatures. And cards that are threatening to you. Um, yeah, these are... These are Significantly better. Submit. Deck submit submission received. GG. Did they disconnect? Oh, don't, don't, don't disconnect. Don't disconnect. I gotta draft on this uh, channel a little bit and play and play Commander at some point. I I think that some of the Commander videos are some of the most popular that I've done. And after another month, I might start up Commander again. Uh, let me know what if you'd like to see uh, Commander in on my channel again. I would like to do Commander Power Hour where I've um I I've already have the series Commander Power Hour 
where I used to literally just brew a commander deck with that was random a commander that was randomly chosen and a stipulation that was randomly chosen. And I'd brew a deck in one hour. Um just make one immediately. Uh I got one of my sideboard cards. I think it's worth trying. I think it's worth trying. Darksteel Citadel and Relic is going to punish the graveyard. Once you, if you pop down a Relic on turn one and just start eating their graveyard, they never build up anything and you never have to actually pop the Relic. It just keeps eating uh, because typically only one card goes in at a time. Yeah, sure. Ooh. They're chromatic. I do not believe that they have many cards in hand. Well, next turn, uh, Darkseal Citadel filtered through Chromatic Star to get one blue. Okay. Do they just do they have to discard? Oh, okay. Well, there's Pyroblast. That's nice. That's always oh, they discard uh Exile. Oh, uh, no no stops on cleanup step. No. How am I supposed to respond? During a phase when I'm not supposed to. Draw me the card. Draw me a card. Oh, that's a card. I like that. I have no filters now. Oh, Force Spike. Come on, Force Spike. This is the time. Yes, yes. Let me see some lands. Okay. Um, uh, we'll put you on top. What would I do next turn? I'm going to put Seat of the Sign out on top. Preordain on top of that. Because I want both of them. Oh, wait. No. I needed the blue mana first. No. Damn it. <laughs> damn me. Damn me. Oh. I stacked wrong. E. Oof. I did a bad job. Okay, there's a brainstorm. You may brainstorm during my end step as as many times as you would like. I'm thinking I should have at least waited to see what their wing condition was. Just to see, because I have honestly no idea what on earth how how, how on earth they're gonna win the game. Like, it, technically the game wasn't over for me, just because I lost Atog, but it was going to be a nasty uphill battle from there on. And I don't think I could have... I, I was very unlikely to get it, but... You know, probably wasn't worth watching. Okay, Brainstorm. All right, what do you have? Snapcaster Mage. Jace. Play Jace. Fine, I'll play a card. I'll play, I'll play a card. Wait a minute. Undo. Is that three brainstorms? You got three brainstorms in exile, you get no more. Okay, uh, we shall preordain. Ooh. Put on top. Put on top of that. Yes, yes.
I wonder what they are playing against this. I don't think that they know that we're a talk combo. A lot of people. Wait, you didn't use the spell setter sprite at that time? I don't think I fully understand. All right, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, why not? I mean, that was a odd thing. They could have gotten some value, get rid of my preordain. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered that much, but it's a little. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing anything about that. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. It's yours. It's all yours. Yours yours for reals. Um, witching well, I might just say play Seed of the Cyanide next turn. No! Ninja! Ooh, well now I now I can definitely. I was afraid of counter spells, but now that I can hold up Metallic Rebuke and then play the Thought Cast, I feel like that's pretty okay. They only have the one mana. I don't think that they can uh, afford uh, more than a Force Spike, which is likely a one of. There's only, there is a, I think there's a one mana card that might, oh god, uh, Relic has nothing to eat. <laughs> Relic has nothing to eat, I have to wait till their turn. Gosh, uh, we got double metallic rebuke. Can't cast anything? Fine. I'll let them do, I'll let them do stuff. Sure, fine. I I really wish I had another filter. I think I should have uh, had less uh, golden eggs and more... What are they called? Prophetic Prism? Yeah. Go ahead, cast something. Damage? Okay, yeah. I guess this is mono blue tempo, potentially. However, I don't know about these ninjas of deep hours. Um, yeah, preordain. I'll eat that. Thank you. What you find? Goodbye. Great Furnace. Is it worth fighting over this ninja? Well, let's just eat one of those first. I'm willing to fight over the ninja. I think it's worth a lot of cards. An unimpeded ninja at this point might be able to get them quite a bit of value. Spell Stutter Sprite. They got two more. A three? Do you have something else? Oh yeah, they got something else. Dang it. Dang it. Ah, we didn't have it. 
Uh, I didn't have it. I figured that they have spell sitter sprite. Ah. Uh. Oh well. I don't know if they were willing to fight over the ninja or not. Might have been worth it. Might not have. Alright, preordain. Another card for like to eat. I think this is the reason why we're seeing uh, Atog fade out. Atog combo fade away. And back to Affinity. Because this is not very advantageous. It seems like a really hard deck to uh, get through for Atog. They just have more counter spells, they have more stuff. Um, if we didn't pressure them there with a Pyroblast, we'd be pretty much reliant on waiting for them to misplay or something. Back up to seven cards, Jesus. Muddle the Mixture. What do we get? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I'm willing to... I'm willing to test with an ATOG right now. Because we can use his muddle the mixture to get another one. Okay, that sticks. And we can harass the ninja like this. What do they got in response? Snap? Vapor Snag? Well, Vapor Snag. Uh... Yeah, let it go. Um, that's honestly just a, a card. It only cost us two mana. We weren't doing much else anyway. So it wasn't really a big problem. We got Golden Egg, um, next turn. Golden Egg, uh, Citadel, Atog. This game might be a little bit miserable, being punched by a ninja that takes stuff from me. God, it's literally just a ninja taking a scroll from somebody. Okay, that's Delver of Secrets. Now this game is, is much, much worse. We couldn't, we couldn't have even done anything about that, even if we had mana open. Uh, from them having just four mana up. These metallic rebukes are much worse than uh, actual counter spells as the game goes longer. Exile a card from your yard. I think we might want to try with the golden egg first. Because it is a filter, it is important. It's not a great test spell, but it is... It is worth something. Oh, Prophetic Prism. Yes. Absolutely. Prophetic Prism. Sure. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that would be... Uh, very important. Atog, do you counter the Atog? Question. <laughs> do you counter Atog? 
They do not counter the ATOG. Okay, so next turn... We have another shot at eliminating them. We just gotta wait for them to tap down a little bit more. I'm willing to... Okay, there's one snap. That's alright, we can do it in main phase. They got six damage on board. Potentially seven if they switch this out for ninja. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Does it flip? Don't. Don't. Yes. They only have a max of five right now. We got one more turn. God, we might have a game. We might have a game. We can gain some life. We can gain a little life. We can gain a little. Yeah, draw your card. All right, fine, fine. You've had too many cards. You're just carding down to hand size. You've had too many. You don't need any more. Stop. God, they're completely untapped. Okay, except for one ponder. Sure. Well, the force spike doesn't matter now. The force spike's gone. I mean, I'm downfall that they have two. And I don't think that they play Spell Pierce anymore, so... God, I like Spell Pierce. I can't believe it's not... I can't believe it's in Legacy, but not seen as much in Pauper. I guess the extra land count, the bigger swollen mana base that you're seeing right now is reason why. I guess they get a land. Super, that is not great. We wanted them to tap down. We wanted them to tap down. That's... Not good. That is most undesirable. Uh, Icar Wellspring, yes. Draw a card. Okay, Dispel. Metallic Rebuke. Muddle. I'm gonna try for another Atog. And I'm going to try for another ATOG. And I think that we can live next turn. I think we can make it to another turn. And if we do, then with double counterspell backup... Oh, okay. Uh, that's one counterspell. Down. Yeah, I'm... Okay, with that. What's the chances of them having snap? Because I would like to fling right now. They probably have a, a nice cache of counter spells right in their hand. It might be worth it to press it right now, but I can't uh, do it with any kind of counter backup. I, I would just pass the turn. And hold up Dispel in case they try to mess with this Atog right now. Okay, do they do anything? Does it, oh, they're paying cost. What is this? Snap? They only have one mana. <laughs> Uh, eh. I kind of want to fling it right now. <laughs> oh, God. What are the chances that they have a dispel? I mean, there, there's already one dispel gone. God, it might be the right time to pop it. Okay, it might be the right time to pop it. This one. I want to sacrifice this one. We get a thought cast. Ah, uh, we might want to just go ahead and fling it. <laughs> fling it. Fling it. <laughs> Let's be a psychopath. Let's fling. Let's try it anyway. <laughs> 
Screw it. Suicide. <laughs> We're nuts, man. We'll do anything. You only got one mana. God. Oh, if they have it. I'll be very upset. That one. That one. Mmm. <laughs> golden egg? Mmm. Yum yum. One red. <laughs> okay. Don't have it. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! Oh, come. they have a second force spike! No! Oh, you're kidding me! Come on. <laughs> that is... That is absolute trash. I felt like there was a tiny sliver of hope. And I'm like, ah, it might be now or never. We might have to do it. <sighs> God. Fine. Fine, fine. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get mad on Monday. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, you could kind of see how the deck was um, was a little bit held up by counter spells and a lot of interaction. When your opponent is very is a very much a deck that wants to interact with you, you know, via counter spells, hand disruption, and whatnot, then then it, the deck gets a lot worse when they have multiple ways of messing with Atog, because a lot of times. We only have one or two layers of protection with counter spells up at any given time. So that's when the fight um, gets very, very difficult for us. Because some of those decks can, if they want, just put up a couple layers of counter spells. And that's really hard to fight through and really tell what they're doing. Plus, they will advance their own board state a little bit faster than us. Which, ah, the fairies and Delver matchups are really difficult for us. I think maybe I should have uh, been playing a little differently, but ultimately that might have just been uh, a downside of the deck, where that sort of matchup gets uh, very, very difficult for you. That end, maybe we should switch out the Ancient End for Vault of Whispers, just for, uh, just, just for good luck, because I'm pretty sure that Swamps are just better luck than, uh, are better luck, just, you know, just automatically. <laughs> Okay, where's a Vault of Whispers? Ah, yes, one Vault of Whispers. That's the Superior Land. Black being better than white. Prophetic Prism. Maybe, uh... Swapping out the Golden Egg for the Prophetic Prism, or... Just maybe more one more of these. Versus, uh, something else in the deck. Ah. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. They're, they're very small adjustments that... We're, would probably be more dependent based on what you would expect at a tournament. Um, I hope you enjoyed Meta Monday, and one of the decks that was part of the meta for at least two or three months, having a pretty good run, and was actually putting up some pretty good win rates. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share it with somebody who you think might enjoy the deck, and uh, come on in for that face touch.